Hello and welcome. I have a very short video for you to encourage you and to inspire you to take care of your feet. Now that it's winter, uh, well at least in this part of the world where I live in Europe, the feet spend a lot of uh, um, time inside socks and shoes. And it's important that when you get home, you relieve your feet from the stresses of the day. Uh, in order for the feet to be able to do its job, it needs to be healthy, healthy it needs to be mobile and flexible, and the toes need to be spread to support uh, the body. Just like a tripod. A tripod can't hold the camera, uh, or wherever it is holding without being spread, without the, the, the feet of the tripod being spread. The same with the feet. The toes need to be spread in order to do their job properly and when the toes are uh, too close to each other and too stiff, the feet is going to lose some of its ability to uh, hold and support the body and that may be one of the reasons uh, people have lower back pain or neck pain or issues in the knees or the pelvis a very common reason is because something is going on um, in the feet. The feet is not supporting the body correctly, properly as it is uh, supposed to. So it's important that you keep your feet uh, healthy, mobile, flexible <coughs> and the toes spread. So one thing that you can do that I love doing is to have one of these. These are pedicure separators, are really cheap. And uh, uh, all you do, you put it between your toes and leave it for as long as you can. Um, the first time you do it, uh, it might hurt a little bit after a few minutes. And if that is the case, just take it out and put it back uh, um, later. There is no point to be in pain. So uh, only wear it, only keep it on your on your foot, on your feet, um, for as long as it is comfortable. Okay. Um, something that I used to do um, was as well to sleep with it on. They might come off during the night, but they'll stay um, in place for. Um, a little while. So that's something that I used to do when I started work on my feet. Nowadays um, I put them on when I'm watching television and relaxing and sometimes I walk around the house with them as well, with this as well. And in the winter I use slippers, I put the slippers on and um, I walk around the house with uh, with them on for as long as I can um, or winter socks put them on which is what I wear in the winter more these winter socks um, and so I keep this on for um, a few hours <clears throat> now if you think that you can't wear this with your slippers then that is a sign that your slippers are too tight. The last thing you want to do is to have your feet inside shoes all day long and it's very likely that the shoes are a little bit tight and the, the feet is also inside tight socks. And the last thing you want to do is to get home, take off your shoes, take off your socks and then put your, shoe, your, your feet inside tight slippers. That is not going to help your feet very much. So make sure that the slippers you have, they are large enough and soft enough to allow the feet to breathe, to allow the feet to, to be released from the stresses of the day. And you can do that by having soft and large enough um, slippers or socks. So I only use this kind of slippers that are really soft and um, 
large enough to accommodate my toes, to free my, my toes, or this kind of um, winter socks, um, house socks. So pay attention to what are you putting your feet when you get home. Um, so you can do this, uh, um, as I said, you know, you can sleep with them, you can walk around in the house with them, uh, you can put them on when you are watching television and relaxing. Um, so wear them as much as you can, that will give you your toes a nice stretch. Something else you can do while you're relaxing and watching television is to play with the toes um, to make, keep them flexible and mobile. There's lots of joints in the toe, in the feet um, and the toes and you need to keep those mobile and flexible and fluid and lubricated like any other joint in the body. Um, so you can play with the toes, you can do this kind of um, movements, screw kind of movement with your toes back and forth but do it gently and you can do all kinds of movements movements with the toes there's no right or wrong way of doing that as long as you bring uh, movement to the joints something else you can do is massage your your your, your feet with a golf ball or whatever little ball you have handy um, i used to do that in the office under my desk I always uh, had one of these balls to massage my f my feet. All you you do, you put your feet, uh, your foot on it, and just go around massaging. Put a little bit of pressure, as pressure as much pressure as you can handle, uh, and just go around the muscles and give the the surface of your feet a good massage. Go slowly and put a little bit of pressure so that. Uh, uh, you go a little bit deeper into the muscle, okay? So these are things that you can do to keep your um, feet healthy during the winter. And this is all I had to tell you today. Thanks very much for watching. And if this video was valuable for you, then please give me the thumbs up and distribute it with your friends and family. And I'll see you at a next video. Bye bye now.